Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgeway. Now, today I'm taking you back to 1557, the reign of Queen Mary I. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 28th of June, 1557, Philip Howard, 13th Earl of Arundel, was born at Arundel House, The Strand, in London. Philip ended up being condemned to death for treason and dying of alleged poisoning in 1589, when he was just 32. So let me tell you a bit more about him and what led him to that very sticky end. Well, Philip was born on this day in 1557 and was the only child of Thomas Howard, 4th Duke of Norfolk, and his first wife, Mary Fitzalan, second daughter and co-heir of Henry Fitzalan, 12th Earl of Arundel. When he was baptised in Whitehall Palace's Chapel Royal on the 2nd of July 1557, Mary I's husband, Philip of Spain, and Nicholas Heath, Archbishop of York, stood as his godfathers, and Elizabeth Howard, Dowager Duchess of Norfolk, stood as his godmother. Sadly, his mother died less than a month after his birth. As a child, Philip was known by the courtesy title of Earl of Surrey. In 1569, when he was 12, Philip married 12-year-old Anne Dacre, eldest daughter of Thomas Dacre, 4th Lord Dacre of Gilsland. The marriage was properly solemnised when the couple turned 14 in 1571. In 1572, Philip's father was executed for treason and Philip lost his title of Earl of Surrey, although he was allowed to retain most of the family's property. In 1576, he graduated MA from St John's College, Cambridge, and then moved to the Royal Court of Queen Elizabeth I, leaving his wife in the country while he resided in London in Howard House. He hosted the Queen at his estates of Kenninghall and Mount Surrey on her progress in 1578, upsetting his maternal grandfather and aunt with his lavish spending on entertainment for the Queen which led to him being in debt and having to sell some of his and his wife's properties. His maternal grandfather, the Earl of Arundel, died in 1580 and Philip became Earl of Arundel. Philip became wealthy, owning Arundel Castle in Sussex and Arundel House in London, as well as other estates and properties. Philip and his wife had two children together, Elizabeth, born in 1583, who died in her teens, and Thomas Howard, 14th Earl of Arundel, born in 1585. Philip's wife Anne converted to Catholicism in the 1580s during the Protestant reign of Queen Elizabeth I and was open about her conversion. Philip, who'd been brought up a Protestant, also began to favour the Catholic faith, although he hid this from the Queen. However, the fact that he didn't condemn his wife's beliefs led him into trouble and in December 1583, he was interrogated about harbouring Thomas Hayward, a Jesuit priest, and placed under house arrest until the following April. In September 1584, at Arundel Castle, Philip officially converted, being received into the Catholic Church by William Weston, a Jesuit priest. He still kept his faith hidden and began planning to go into exile abroad. In April 1585, after writing the Queen a letter explaining his reasons for leaving England, his religious conscience, but assuring the Queen that he was still her loyal servant, Philip set sail from Littlehampton on the Sussex coast, leaving his pregnant wife and daughter behind. Unfortunately, he was apprehended in the English Channel and his ship was boarded and he was escorted to the Tower of London. Philip was taken before the Star Chamber and accused of being a Roman Catholic, leaving the country without the Queen's permission and claiming the Dukedom of Norfolk. In May 1586, he was fined £10,000. Nearly three years later, in April 1589, he was tried, attainted and condemned to death after another Catholic claimed, while being tortured, that during their time in the Tower, Philip had arranged a secret mass for the success of the Spanish Armada. However, the Queen did not sign his death warrant and he kept his head and remained in prison, where he worked on religious translations and treatises on virtue. In August 1595, after over 10 years of imprisonment, Philip became ill. 
He asked the Queen's permission to see Anne and their children, and the Queen replied, If he will but once attend the Protestant service, he shall not only see his wife and children, but be restored to his honours and estates with every mark of my royal favour. Philip remained firm in his faith and refused. He died at the Tower of London on the 15th of October 1595, some sources state the 19th. He died from dysentery or malnutrition, although it was rumoured that he'd been poisoned by his cook, who allegedly poisoned the sauce of a roasted teal. On the 22nd of October 1595, Philip was laid to rest in the chapel of St Peter ad Vincula at the Tower of London. In 1624, his widow and son arranged for his remains to be brought to the Countess's home at West Horsley in Surrey, where they were put in an iron coffin before being taken to the Fitzalan Chapel of Arundel Castle and buried in a vault. In 1971, his remains were moved once more, this time to Arundel Cathedral. His son Thomas was restored in blood as the 14th Earl of Arundel in 1604. Philip was beatified in 1929 and then canonised as a Catholic martyr in 1970. In 1973, his resting place, Arundel Cathedral, was dedicated to Our Lady and St Philip Howard. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 28th of June 1491, King Henry VIII was born at Greenwich Palace. And you can find out more about Henry, his life and his reign in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking that button right there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll be back tomorrow. Take care, bye bye.